application in surveying is deals with um, earthwork estimates. Um, a lot of times the engineer, the surveyor work hand in hand in terms of calculating the amount of earthwork that must be done for a project. Like in this particular case, we have two cross sections. One cross section is station 66 plus not not, and another cross section 300 feet down at 69 plus not not. And you can see from each cross section, we have, say for example, a, a roadway that's going to be 30 feet wide and it's going to have these slopes and we have to cut this amount of soil. Likewise, in this cross section, we have the same 30 foot wide roadway. You can see we have to cut a little more. This depth is at the center of 9.4 versus 6.2. And a common application in surveying, in the surveying course and in real world application is for the estimator to calculate how much soil is going to be removed for this particular application. Now the approach that we're going to use is an equation that's in the textbook. This is a very common equation for trapezoid, where it's basically saying, look, if you have the width of the section and you have the height of the center line, okay, you have height on the left, you have a height on the right, and then we have a distance from the center to the left and we have a distance to the right. And essentially with that, you can calculate the area using this formula where you have the width over four times the sum of the two heights plus the center height over two times the sum of the two widths on the top. And so basically we're going to take this formula and apply it to these cross sections and figure out how much volume we would have to remove based on these two cross sectional areas and a distance of 300 feet between stations 6600 and 6900. So basically what we'll do right now is we just follow the formula for each one of these cross sections and figure out what we have. So. At station 68, I'm sorry, at station 6600, so at 6600, if I start calculating this, I'm just going to substitute these terms in. So my width is 30 feet, and okay, that's over 4. I have this height of 8.4, and I have this height here, 4.1, and I'm going to add that to. The formula says the height of the center, which is 6.2 over 2. And then for these two dimensions here, DL and DR, basically I'm going to have to add, it's, it's basically this dimension up top here, which would be the 15 plus the 10.5, which is 25.5, plus, and then we have the same thing on the right-hand side where we have the 15 and the 9.1, which comes out to 24.1. So when we do this calculation, it comes out for, at this section, we have a cross-sectional area of 247.51 square feet. And I'll go ahead and underline that. Okay. So that's the cross-sectional area of this cross-section here. Now we're going to apply the same exact formula for, this, for the cross-section at station 6900. Actually, I'm going to put air on this one so we can know that's the one we use. So at 6,900, we have the same formula we're going to have. Area is equal to, okay, the width term right here is also 30, which makes sense if it's the same roadway. We have the height on the left, 12.6, and the height on the right is 6.7, which all these dimensions, by the way, are in feet. I'm just doing it this way right now for more than for more than any other reason, just lack of space. And then we have the center dimension, which is 9.4 over 2. And then we're going to add that to the distance on the left, which would be 15 plus 20.2, which is 35.2. And then here we have 15 plus 7.2, which is 20.2, oops, there we go, so make that a little easier to read, 20.2, okay, and we get for this area here, and I'll just kind of move it up over here, this area comes out to be 414.53. And that's square feet. Okay. I'll put an arrow on that. 
So we've now, using this formula here in terms of the width and the top widths, the width of the base and the top width and the, and the heights, we've calculated the areas for each cross section. And for us to get the volume, okay, we're going to have to multiply the, the average of these two areas. Okay, so I'm going to say 247.51 plus 414.53, taking the average of that, okay, so we divide by 2, and we're going to multiply that times the length, which is 300. Okay, because again, we're going from station 6600 to 6900. Okay. When I do that, I get a final volume. I have just enough room to write down the final answer here. I get 99,306 square feet, which is also equal to about 3,678 cubic yards, which would be the normal unit for Earth earthwork that we're going to express. So hopefully that can be seen within the video. Okay. So to recap, essentially, we just applied this formula that we have in our textbook. It's a very standard formula for trapezoids. And we applied that for each cross section. In this particular case, we have cut on both sides. Okay? And we figured out that this cross sectional area had 247, and this cross sectional area here had 414. And then just using the average in method routine, where we take the average of each cross section, and we multiplied it by the distance between them, we figured out that we had almost 3,700 cubic yards of dirt. And that concludes this example of calculating.